What's up, Facebook family? YouTube especially. This is Claude, back with another healthy food review. This time, I am in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and I touched down at a place that we're going to call one of the best vegan places that I've been told about uh, lately. And this place is called Blood Root, and we're in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and uh, it's a vegan establishment, guys. It, it, it has an energy. When you first walk through that door, that tells you that this is a labor of love for the two ladies that are actually owners of this establishment. Uh, they, they have been in business uh, for over 40 years, you know, doing vegan dishes, which is a little known fact in the Bridgeport area. It's very, very intriguing to, to witness what they're doing. I was sitting down talking with one of the ladies just now. She was showing me a book that they actually put together of the, the many different dishes they offer, you know, as far as everything you can think of from Jamaican cuisine to Spanish and American cuisines to all these different other options that people just don't really seem to know about. So I'm here today basically to try to shed light on, on the, the availability of healthy options locally. And honestly, from what I've been told, great, great food. And uh, the, like I said, the energy as soon as you walk in the establishment it looked awesome. And, and it just felt really genuine. There's no wait staff. So when they have you come in, you basically come in and they connect with you on a one-to-one -one basis. The hours that they're open, and this makes a lot of, a lot of difference, guys. They're open basically uh, during the week for maybe three or four hours during the day for a brunch and then at night they're usually open from maybe 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. only and then maybe on a Friday or Saturday what have you from 6 to 10. That speaks volumes. It speaks volumes because they're actually able to stay in business for so long with a, a community that really loves and appreciates who they are and on top of it be able to to give you really really healthy healthy options. I went today with a little bit of brunch myself I decided to go with vegan eggs, uh, be trying those for the first time. I have mushrooms on mine and they are uh, using a, a wine sauce with the mushrooms. So I'm going to get into that in a minute. It's a little two uh, egg omelet and it looks really good, smells awesome. I decided to bring my food back to the car, you know, instead of sitting in the establishment to eat. So I wanted to kind of give you guys my, my real take on this. So again, you know me, if the food is not exactly where I thought it would be as far as taste and flavor, you'll know. You know, I'll be sure to let you know what's going on. I also went with a patty. It looks almost like a sausage patty. Same consistency, but it's actually a soy patty. Uh, I think they call it a soy patty also while you're in there and you're ordering your food. So again, you walk in the establishment, you come to the front door, you order your food, you pay, and then you bring the receipt to the counter and they bring the food out to you. All the ladies working in there were totally awesome, very, very genuine people, and I had a really good experience and real flair for what they're doing. But anyway, enough about that. I'm going to go ahead and get into the, the, the food. Here we go. Now, on mine, I also brought out the fact that on this, I, I did bring the foil, the tin out, guys, so it's a little, you know, but I got a little bit of pico sauce as well. The sauce is definitely pico uh, for my Spanish people. That basically means a little spicy, but this sauce is supposed to go with the veggie patty, so I'm going to try that for the first time, see how it is, and again, you did see a little bit in the beginning of the video, uh, and right now I'm showing it to you, and this is what it is, so again, this is the vegan dish that I got for brunch. It's the two cheese omelet, um, mushrooms and wine sauce, and then I have the soy patty. I was told as far as the health content, uh, very, very light in carbs, very, uh, you know, light as far as the, 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 the content of what you really shouldn't be eating. High in protein, of course, the fiber is there as well. And again, you have, you have a soy patty. I mean, you can't get much better than that. So here we go, guys. Wow, it's different. This patty has the same consistency and does taste like a 
that you would get anywhere else. There, it doesn't taste like sausage. It doesn't taste like beef or anything like that at all, or pork or what have you. It tastes like really, really light, really, really clean. You know, so this is really a good patty. Um, it it doesn't need the, the sauce on it. Honestly, that was doing me a disservice putting sauce on this thing. It's good the way it is. So again, this is the patty, the soy patty. And um, let me finish a little bit of this more. <laughs> and then here's my eggs. Again, the eggs. The mushrooms are sauteed in a wine sauce. And this is the wine sauce we have here now. Two egg omelet. Here we go. Wow. The mushrooms stand out because they give it a, a, a flavor that complements very, very well with the egg. Now, the egg tastes very clean. These are um, vegan type eggs that they use as well. So, very, very light in general. The mushrooms are not overpowering at all on the omelet. You, sometimes you can get an omelet where the mushrooms are just kind of like, eh, I'm sticking out at you, and they're kind of like, whatever. Not like that at all. Now. These are actually a good mushroom. Good eggs. It tastes very, very clean. I can probably finish this whole tray of food and not be full at all. That's the whole point. You want to try to eat clean? This is where it's at, man. This is what it is. So, I think um, I wouldn't put any cheese on the omelet. Usually I would put cheese on an omelet. I wouldn't do it at all. Because you know what? Now you're starting to mask the natural flavors of the food. That's not what they're trying to do. They're basically trying to make sure that you get the protein, the consistency, the nutrients, and everything else you need without the, 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 the feeling of being overly full, you know, being, you know, overwhelmed with your food. You don't want that. Very good food. Um, I've, I've think, I think that the food itself speaks for itself. The one thing about the food is that the food itself was a little bit pricey. Um, the only thing that deterred me a little bit from eating vegan uh, originally is that there is a an expense as far as eating the food and as far as you know and enjoying the flavors and stuff that you're gonna get in the health content but it will come at a price so my experience was awesome in general the food was good uh, food was awesome food was great I gave it a four and a half the only reason I think I didn't go with a full five on this one guys is because of the price two egg omelet with a little bit of mushroom and a soy patty along with a cup of, of, of vegan flavor or vegan type of uh, orange acai juice. Uh, again, acai is A-C-A-I for those who are not really sure. The total for the, my food today came to $18. Now, maybe a little bit pricey for some people, I'm not too sure, but I needed to make sure that everybody knows that unfortunately in this day and age, eating vegan or eating healthy does come at a cost. You know, so that could be something that people may look into also. But uh, again, just keeping it straight 100 with y'all. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And make sure you follow me on YouTube. That's Mostly Healthy Food Reviews with Claude. You also find me on Instagram at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. And of course, you can find me on Facebook. And I'm around uh, doing my thing. And then again, thanks for checking me out. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks and rocking with me, y'all. Claude, I'm out. I holler.